only on seven. Ever since that article appeared in Rolling Stone last fall, UVA has really been ground zero for the issue of sexual assault on campus. But debate is spreading rapidly to colleges all over the country. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg reports from Fredericksburg on the obstacles that lie ahead and the trauma that remains with survivors. Since it's happened to me, I've realized the emotional effects, um, how psychologically unstable you can become after a sexual assault. She is a student at the University of Mary Washington in Fredericksburg. She does not want to reveal her name, so we will call her Karen. A month and a half ago, Karen says she was sexually assaulted at an off-campus bar by a man she did not know. She reported it to police, but no arrest has been made. You realize you lose your sense of safety. You realize that a lot of times people don't believe your story. They think that you provoked the sexual assault. It is a problem victims advocates at colleges and universities have been battling for decades. Of alleged gang rape. But only in the past few years has it gained national attention and mass media coverage. Chris Kilmartin is a psychology professor at Mary Washington who has been studying campus sexual assault for the past 25 years. He says the trend of awareness began with a focus on sex assault in the military, which prompted pledges of action from Congress and the president. Then, last November, the Rolling Stone article on sexual assault at UVA, which, despite later being discredited, had a major impact. People, I think, responded to it pretty well by saying, you know, yeah, this is an issue and this is a horrible thing that's happening to people. It is widely estimated that one out of every five women is sexually assaulted during her college years. But Professor Kilmartin believes many survivors do not report cases out of fear the administration will not thoroughly investigate. So if there's no reporting, then the person can't be held accountable, and then chances are good that he or she, he usually is going to hurt somebody else. Paige McKinsey is president of Feminists United at Mary Washington. She says the university is now giving the issue more attention, similar to what's happening at UVA and other schools across the country. But McKinsey believes it is still not enough. I think that no university right now is doing as much as they could or as much as they need to be doing to support victims and survivors. The Virginia General Assembly is moving forward with bills dealing with this issue on many fronts, including requiring cases of campus sexual assault to be reported to county prosecutors within 48 hours and providing additional counseling services to survivors of sexual assault. Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.